Well, hello creative birdies. How are you guys doing today? Five seconds before this video started, I said to myself, hmm, do I have the dryer going? Is that the dryer going off? Huh. I hope it's not the dryer. And then I realized it's not. You know you do too, too, too much when you're constantly hearing your dryer or you're constantly thinking, oh, I need to do this, oh, and I, I need to do that before I go to bed at night. Oh, it's just, it's just a lot. But I'm grateful to do it. I'm grateful I have the physical ability to do it. So, not complaining, just saying what I was thinking. We still need our backgrounds. Um, hopefully we don't have that much um, mishaps or struggles as I did. And we're not going to use, I don't think we're going to use any stencils this time. And this time I'm going to be more mindful of where I'm sticking things. I might just do that for a few times and then and then just play like without even thinking because that's what I like to do. Now I like this color always mixed with red. It's always a pretty thing. Oh, I forgot to cut that other. I've been cutting postcards, more postcards. So far um, I cut these and gessoed these off camera. I didn't think you guys needed to see because I've done it so many times. But if you're new here, I get, um, either I pick it up if I see a good box, or like this one here is cat food, which is getting too expensive for me, this cat food. And Honey will not eat any other cat food but this perfectly chicken whiskers. And how many do they come in here? Four, three ounce, how many is that? There's six, nine, so ten pieces for about six dollars or seven. That's way too expensive. So I'm trying to figure out a recipe because I cook for the dogs already. Do I not have a red? Oh, yes, I do. I cook for the dogs already, so I don't mind, you know, but I, to my, cook for Honey, but I'm telling Jackie she needs to do it because honestly, Honey does belong to Jackie, but she does, Jackie does go to school, I totally understand. And I think I want to mix purple. Even though I like these two colors a lot, let's just do these two colors for now. Now I can do this. And I was thinking as well, I want to run. A scraper through. So we'll do that for right now. Let's just run this scraper. Let's see what we can get with this. Uh, what was I saying? Yeah, I want Jackie to make her make honey food because that's getting too expensive. So I'm thinking Jackie can make some chicken and some kind of gravy because that's basically what it is. Shredded chicken and gravy. But we'll have to make it cat friendly. So we have that. So I'm going to go ahead and go on top of certain postcards. I'm going to cut this piece off. And this won't be a postcard actually. This will be an just a, a spare or an extra that I send in your packages when you buy a postcard from me. Postcards um, are seven dollars. If you see something you like, let me know. So we don't have to do the whole thing. We could just do pieces and parts. This one's still wet. That's okay. We're, I'm not looking for perfect prints. I'm just looking for additional background. And then we'll add... Oh, 
all sorts of stuff. If you're not familiar to my postcards and what I create, you might want to go back a few videos. Um, there's a playlist. I always link it at the end of the videos. A playlist. Well, it's different playlists, like creating postcards together. There we go. See, that's good enough for me because when we run again, another amount of color, we'll play and put it down again. It's just playtime, art time. Art time is playtime. There we go. A lot of you guys, as I do, like to look at the cards and see things. That looks like an elephant to me. The trunk is there, here's the two legs, and here's the body. And he could be sitting in a bush. Let's go ahead and put some more colors down. And that's what we're going to be doing today, is just sitting, playing, and creating postcards. Peach, one of my favorite colors. We can do markings in here. I'm not going to do that today. Ooh, I got an itchy palm, itchy palm. Supposedly, supposedly, itchy palm. I want a, a deeper red than this, but we'll work with this for now. Um, means money coming your way? I don't know. No clue. And I joke around with George because he really truly believes that it means money's coming his way. So when it happens to me and I tell him, babe, my palm is itching, he says, stick it in your pocket, stick it in your pocket so you don't lose your money and close your hand. And instead I end up throw. I tell him, no, I'm just going to throw my money to everybody who needs money. He's like, babe, we need money. Put your hand in your pocket. <laughs> and I don't. I don't listen. I like to tease him. And I start going like this so that other people can get the money that's going to come towards me. There's that. So I am now printing on previous cards that we did earlier. The video is right before this one. I chased a dog today, or tried to. I attempted to. More, more my husband. I was the driver. But that puppy was going so fast. He was so, so scared. and He was running really fast. There was no way we were going we were gonna to catch him. No way we were going to catch him. And now I'll spend a long time thinking about him and praying and literally praying every night. I pray every night for dogs. That he is in a safe space. And that somebody with a loving heart picks him up. And feeds him and takes care of him. Or her. This breaks my heart. Really, really breaks my heart. I know a lot of you guys are animal lovers. I cannot be your friend. That's watery. If you're not an animal, animal lover, unsubscribe. Unsubscribe right now. No joke. We cannot be friends. You have to love some kind of animal. That's not even worth me using. I really need to go through my paints. They're so old. That's a good thing though. It's a good thing to... <laughs> um, oh, that one's way old. That's not even salvageable. Robin Egg Blue. 
I need to start a pile so that I can repurchase the ones that I don't have. Let's do purple. I really wish Deco Arts would send me more supplies. This is free promotion for them. At one time they did. Okay, I don't think I want to use the card no more. So let's roll. There we go. So these are very pretty maze postcards and Marth already um, put in a request for a, a pig with wings. Ooh, that one came out pretty. Pig with wings and an 8x10 canvas of a chihuahua with glasses. Now these are art pieces that already exist. I'm just taking inspiration from them and adding my own touches to them. So Marth, that'll be coming in the future. Just to let you guys know that I do um, take, what is it called? What is the word? Consignment? No, not consignment, girl. Uh, I forgot the word. You guys know what I'm talking about. That's pretty. It's funny because I just explained the word to George earlier about two hours ago and I was able to explain to him and tell him what the word was and he was like, what does that mean? And I told him and now that I turn on the camera and this happens often is I truly forget words, honestly. And it happens to so many YouTube creators where they completely forget their words. That one's pretty cool already. This one's pretty cool already, but we need we need to just play. Oh, no, no, no. You guys have been good. Not that barking means you're bad. It's just, it's just going to get loud. And then a lot of you guys, your dogs start barking because my dogs are barking. See, now that's improved by 100%. Yeah. Love it, love it. I haven't finished my dinner. I, you know, I can clean for days and never be finished. You guys always hear me saying, I'm cleaning, I'm cleaning. Oh, this one. Oh, and thank you, Lori, for the suggestions of the yellows. She suggested an apple barrel. I think the brand is Apple Barrel from Walmart, I'm, I'm thinking. Mm. Did I say this pink was no good? I don't remember. Yeah, it really is no good, but we're still going to use it. Excuse me. A pale yellow and two shades darker yellow from Apple Barrel. So I'll look into that. I really, really want the neons that Janet has. She sent something and it had neon colors and those neon cover colors were amazing. She told me the brand and everything, but they're seem to only really be sold over there where she's from, the UK. So we're not going to be here too, too, too long because I do need to eat. And I want the video up for you guys. Janet says that she was having, um, what is that word? This one I'm leaving alone. 
yeah, that one's going to stay. That's done. This is where I start saying, okay, which one's done, which one's not done. This one, I think I want to go at least halfway. Oh, yeah. Very pretty. And I could put something there. Oh, yeah. I love it now. Withdrawals. Because I hadn't uploaded all week. Here's the thing, guys. I... Not complaining. I'm just saying that something is going on with YouTube again. And this usually happens because they're updating something. But it is frustrating. Yes and no. Um, it kind of is. It kind of isn't. I'm in, I'm in the middle. My views are down. Like, really down. Something's going on and I don't know. So it really would help. Especially, well, it always helps, but especially right now, if you guys either replay my videos constantly, you can go to bed, leave them playing on a playlist. Um, I'm going to put it on mute. Click on, on ads. Just click, click it once, and then exit out of it. That makes me, that helps a lot. That makes me some change. Oh, let me show you guys. That's going to be really pretty. I love the white in there, so I'm, I think I might cover that right there. Yep. I want to cover that a little bit more. Yep. Share my links with your friends. Share, share my videos and links and playlists on your social media. You know, I wouldn't mind getting a magnet, maybe a magnet, because I could take it off and on, or, so, or make somebody have, or if somebody could make me a Cricut, made out of the Cricut machine, um, my YouTube channel name, so that I can put it on my car, which I will be getting back very soon. Thankfully, Janet, come to the rescue again, and she's getting George's car repaired so that I can get my car back. I have no shame in telling you guys my life improvements, no matter how I'm getting it. Janet is kind enough to help improve our lives, and I'm very grateful to that, and I'll scream it out to the world. Very grateful for that. Mm, what else? What was I saying? Oh, vinyl. Is that what? Yeah, that's what it is. Vinyl. So I can put it on the car, on the window maybe, on the side of the window. Not too big. I don't want anything huge. Just something small. It says my YouTube channel so I could promote more. I want to do the orange again. That's pretty. Summer's coming and I'm thinking of tropical colors. Very pretty. Oh yeah. Look at that. I can roll that out onto a piece over here. So this is the before. We've done all of these together. Let's see what we get. Let's just do it. Very pretty. Yeah. Very pretty. So Again, all postcards will be going out at the end of this month, May. So I know each and every one of you guys that have already paid and chosen your cards, your postcards, your names are on the postcards. They belong to you. No worries. I just cannot get them out until the end of May. Okay, let's, let's just go for this. Cool, cool, cool. 
I know a lot of you guys do what I do when I watch other channels. You scream and say, do not cover that. Do not cover that up. <laughs> I feel ya. I watch other YouTubers as well. Look at that. Right now I'm really into dumpster diving. Cooking channels. And... Um, music. Music. And spending time with the dogs at all times. Oh, that's so pretty. You see the other colors that we did come through. These are going to be very pretty postcards for the month of May. They're all so unique. My gosh. I'm grateful to have the ability and the things that I have to be able to create these things that you guys love to buy. And I love it. I love it. Very pretty. Look at all the other colors that are coming through. Again. It seems like I'm going to get addicted to these few colors. It's okay though. That it'll be the theme for May. And then we'll play some more. Yeah, we'll play some more on top of the cards. We'll add all sorts of stuff. And then we go on to painting things that are inspired by Pinterest. I'm telling you, go on over to Pinterest. Make yourself a few boards of inspiration of things that you guys would like to paint. I'm going to do one glide, like one push, one push. Like that. Pretty. Hot pink would look amazing in there, but I'm not going to right now. And that's what I'm doing, is um, exploring my creativity through other art that has already been created. The only difference is it's not exactly sketched. It's not copied. It's not like carbon copied at all. I grab from here, I grab from there, and I put together. Or I grab from here and just put together from my own thoughts. Look at that. Very pretty. I want to cover that little corner. I like the white. And this is the way that I'm teaching myself how to create um, paintings. Even though it's inspired by somebody else, that's okay. Shoot, you see all of my, my, um, you see a lot of my stuff all over YouTube. I've inspired so many people and that's wonderful. That was my objective here on YouTube. It was to inspire people and to find a community to um, gather around with and communicate and inspire. Ooh, so pretty. These would be thick po postcards right here. This is from a shoebox. This, this one's going to need some more work. Oh, here's the before. I'm sorry if I don't finish my sentences or what I'm talking about. After a few minutes, it's just like zero thought of what I was talking about. If I ever say something and you guys are really interested in what I was talking about, just let me know what I was talking about. And hopefully that way I can um, reiterate what I meant or what I was talking about. Aw oh, man, this one's done as well. Come on, Deco Art. Send me some products. I remember about four years ago, Deco Art contacted me and they sent me every single product they had. I was very, very lucky. I was one of the first. 
that year. Because they've been doing the program for many years, but that year I was one of the first. And I got so many things. So many things. And then and then they stopped. And it's time to refresh my products. Oh man, I did it again. I always forget to mix it up. And this gooey white clear um, bond, it really does need to be in the paint. Because if you take it out as many times as I do, that's how we end up with those big boogers inside of the paints. I need a little machine where I can stick the paint in and it just goes like that. So I can mix the paints for me. Ooh. That reminds me of a blouse I used to have back in the day. I want more hot pink in there. Do I have more hot pink? Ay ay ay. Okay, I have this one. It says neon. So I want to go eat, not go eat. I want to go into my living room and relax with George and have some food. The kids are not home. <coughs> Jackie is finally dating. And uh, she had a date today, which is fun. And Giselle is just out and about. She's got a car. She's out and about. Which she should be. It's the weekend. She works hard. Tell me that's not beautiful. Now, if you tell me that's not beautiful, that's not, not nice. We cannot be friends. Okay. Pineapple would look really nice painted on there. Yes, ma'am. Let's mix that up again. Uh, let me put this. This is the before. Let's put that down. And then we grab what's on here. You know, I cannot waste paint. Refuse to waste any paint. Pretty cool. There's still paint there, so I think we'll add something like a color shift. Whoa, 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 where did that go? Oh, here it went. All the way over here, my armrest. <laughs> For the first time ever, I have a carpet in front of my stove. Little ground, half, half oval, half moon carpet. I picked that up. Um, An enamel at uh, what am I saying? At um, Walmart yesterday, and one that goes in front of my sink, so when water splashes down to the floor, it doesn't get everywhere, and then I don't trap, trample is that the word, or trample, trample the rest of the water throughout my floors because my floors, not my. Not my um, design, but the owner's design. The floors are white. Not a beautiful white, they're just white. And it's a vinyl. Kind of ugly. It is okay. Um, so I was able to buy those two things and some Tupperware. Uh, what else? That's going to be very pretty. 
problem is, where am I going to want that at? Anywhere. Just anywhere. What else did I buy? Ooh, I bought uh, two tank tops. They were $3.29. Just bought two of them. I need more, but I just bought two. Little by little. Plus, I love this thrift store. So, I'm really saving my change for the thrift store because I, I really want to go to the thrift store. Let's see, this corner needs, needs some loving. Pretty, pretty. A little muddy, but it's it's okay because we'll fix that all up. Oh, that's a pretty corner, but I'm going to have to cover it because there's certain parts that need to be covered. I don't see the metallic coming in just yet. Okay, what am I going to do with this leftover? I'm going to spray it with some water. Move it just a little more. And let it sit. That's what I'm going to do. So for now we're done. And I'll stop the video. Let these dry and then come back, show them to you what they look like all nice and dry and then we'll cut them to the size we need and then we'll start doing all the other things that we do to them. So these are May postcards. I will tell you now if you see something I'm drawing or if you see something at a glance that you want, call it. Call it and pay for it because they do go fast. And then you guys um really wanted it and then you really wanted it and it stays in your mind. I know that feeling. So let me know. So this video is not done because I'm gonna let these dry and come back. Be back maybe today, maybe tomorrow. Hello creative birdies. For this portion of the video that you've been watching I'm going to fast forward so I'm trying to remind myself to fast forward because it's just a... oh man I didn't wash that because it's just the, the step of cutting our postcards and I'm very old fashioned in a sense. Meaning I'm I don't want to use a ruler, I just want to do it my way. So my way is this way. I'll show you in a second. I'm grabbing my old one of my postcards, this one's going to Marth Shepherd. And what I'm going to do is sit here, and this is why we're going to fast forward, and mark each one like that. Put that on the side. Once I'm done marking each one, I'm going to come back over here to my cutter and just eyeball it in a sense. Should have went over it twice. I know there's easier way and I know that there's measuring things on here. Not I. I am an artist and hate I'm the type of artist that just hates to measure. I don't like measuring. Not even when I cook. How many people are coming? Oh, okay, let's make food for a million people. That's me. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do. So no more talking. I'm just going to sit here and go fast forward now.
Okay, so now they're all cut. And what I would like to do is just go run through a few and throw some stenciling. You guys know how I have a hard time with stenciling, but that doesn't mean that I'm not going to try. use a sponge this time and my more expensive paints because they're nice and thick yeah these are nice and thick these are the Liquitex professional grade always keep your eye out when you are um, at the Goodwill or secondhand store. That's where I found mine. And then, of course, people send me, generously send me some things that they have plenty of. Okay, so I'm gonna pull these aside. Dry sponge. And I'm gonna show you how I'm doing it. So I dipped in and then I'm dipping off. I'm not going to use the full pattern. Yeah, you see I'm not the best at what I do. <laughs> not the best at what I do. And that's okay. It's still going to give me background. It's good enough. Honey's hair just flew into, it just so happened to want to fly straight into my paint. And it wasn't just one hair, it was a ball of hair. Alright, got it. Right into the little pile. Here I come! Oh, that's cool, that worked. Awesome. That's all I wanted was just a little bit of stuff. Oh man, is, is it blurring? Are you guys blurred out? Man, I need to get my eyes checked. Hang on, let me see. I can't tell. Okay, there's that one. And we'll just continue until we run out of the paint. Nice. I can't tell if you guys are blurred out. My eyeballs are saying no, not today, ma'am. Nice. cereal box ready for a background. Ooh, and I have an actual DIY coming soon, but I got myself my cereal box. It's all finished and I'm going to use this cardboard as well for more, more postcards. I'm going to put these three designs away. I'm going to go on. Using this.
We'll use all three fingers. Let me grab a different color. Mm. Not yellow. There's enough yellow. Let's try this one. Oh, that hurt. This one here is Golden Artist Color. This one, actually, the company sent me a few tubes. Uh, you'll see the unpacking about four years ago. You'd have to go back. Similar colors. Good enough. I like that. I kind of want to do... Benini, that noise you're making. Um, let's put the lotus up here. I'm going to do it backwards. And I'm going to... Yeah, just put it there. Dip, 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 dip. Tap, 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 tap. See, I kind of had a feeling that the better quality paints would do me better as far as working through a stencil. Another kind of paint that I think will work is uh, fabric paints because those are nice and thick. I don't know how to do it with sprays. I have a really hard time. Plus, my all of my sprays don't work. All of them. Even the ones that I just recently got from, here we go, Janet. They, they don't spray. The bottles are clogged. I don't know. They just don't spray. They said, mm, no. Mm, no. That's what they said. I love the eye. So I'm going to put the eye. And you never know what gets covered. So... Let's use uh, cadmium blue. I think that's what this one is. Cobalt blue, actually. Dip. Tap, 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 tap. Tap, 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 tap. never know what gets painted on top of it. Uh, I do my art wherever. Even if I cover things up, it's okay. I have a new company working with me right now, which I'll be doing a review. And that new company is called B... bbcrafts.com If you guys want to go head on over there. I'll leave the link down below. Um, I might make commission on it. I'm not sure. And you, I think you guys might get a discount. I'm not sure right now. I just started working with them. Oh, that's pretty. Very pretty. Hmm. Okay, next... They have a warehouse in California and they have a warehouse in China. I got half of my supplies that they sent me for free to review. 
half from China and half from the U.S. The U.S. came in two days. The ones from China only took a week. I was expecting to wait a while, almost 30 days, but I got them in a week. So that's cool. Hey, the stencils are working really nice. I'm grateful for that. I love this one here. I'm going to stick the whole thing as much that will fit. And you know what? I'll do half. Like that. Let's grab another color. Which one is this? Alizarine Crimson. A tip when you guys get these things at secondhand stores if you pick up paints, make sure that the paint doesn't have a hole or is leaking because a few of mine were. And so when I went to go use them, and I still think I still didn't even toss them, I think I still have them. Um, the Liquitex paints were dry on the inside, and I love Liquitex, they're just so damn expensive. So it was disheartening to me to throw them away. So I think I kept them. I don't know what I'm going to do with the, them if I'm going to try to repaint them. Did you need it in? Uh, I just needed to print something from your computer, but it's okay. Can you use the iPad? Do you have a connection? Oh, I don't know. Okay. Oh, that's pretty. I tried using this and it didn't work. And the sponge on the top is disintegrating. Let's change up the color. Ultramarine blue. I'm not, I'm not the person to try to match colors. Oh man, just the jelly came out. I need to put that back in. Otherwise my paint's gonna harden. Hmm. Oh, now I mixed colors. Oh well. What is this one? This one is Art Store. The Art Store. Don't know. I'm telling you, one time I there's a video. Um, I think it's called What I Got at the Thrift Store. Haul, I think. And one time I opened a box without knowing inside were brushes. And they were the first time I ever had brushes was because it was a surprise. Mother Earth blessed me with my first I don't know this stuff doesn't look so good huh interesting with my first brushes they weren't the best but to me they were at the time so let's just say they were the best I'm gonna mix this up because it's jelly And stick it back in.
Okay, good enough. Whatever's left over, we'll use it somewhere. looks cool. I love that. Okay. Okay. Stop screwing around. Okay. Next. I just shoved my finger in the blue. Hmm. Next. Oh, we have a card. No rhyme or reason what I'm using. geometrical shapes I just I crush over them and I'll just continue with the blue until it runs out I didn't show you guys, sorry. So sorry. Let's put some blue around the edges. Oh, and I have that titanium uh, rub buff that Janet sent. I kind of want to see that drip. How about you guys? I want to see this drip. The blue drip from the triangles. Let's see if we can do it. Nope. <laughs> I want to see it, see it like, um, oh, it, there it goes. It's blurring. That's what I want to see. I want to see it drip down. Oh, that's exactly what I want to see.
I love that look. Just like that. Huh. Okay, I'll show you guys later. Mm-hmm. Moving on. Distracted. I'm sorry. I just really need to print this. Let's lay something on top and see what happens. That's good enough, though. We moved it a little, and that's okay. I want this to drip as well. Let's make it drip. There it goes. I want it disturbed and blurred. I've been looking at old antique pieces and walls that have seen many, many years and they look similar to a disturbed look. Very blurred out. Like, um, blown out is basically the look. I like that. Beautiful. I love that. Okay, I'm going to leave it like that. I like that look. Even when I print things out of the printer, I like that. I like it when it messes up and it gives you that. Um, running ink. running through stencils and the blue. Lots of blue this time. Where's the card?
very pretty. Even that messed up part right there. I love it. almost done and then the next video will be I'll probably have some things already sketched out because I'll sit here that's cool I'll sit here and I'll stare at Pinterest and be inspired by all those amazing artists that share their inspiration with us and come up with designs similar or not similar but inspired by an artist for sure um, I like that I put a little bit here as well I laid on my glasses over the weekend good thing is that I didn't break them they just got a little distorted now, was able to go down to the ladies here in Eagle Rock. It's a society of spectacles. They're amazing. Their glasses are not cheap, but they're beautiful, one of a kind, handmade, artist made glasses. Back in the day, I got myself a pair of glasses when George had really good insurance. And we had that Visa card. Um, shared visa card. It was an insurance visa card or something like that. I was able to get myself in the kids glasses. These are those same glasses that I got many years ago. She still remembered me and um, she was able to fix up my glasses for free. And uh, she actually stayed open. I gave her a call and I said I was about seven minutes away if she was still open. She said no, she was closed, but she was still at the shop and that she would wait for me. They're amazing people. If you're ever in Los Angeles, California, in Eagle Rock, California, Glendale, Cypress Park, Highland Park, um, what else kind of area, Mount Washington, I'm in that area. Society of Spectacles is amazing. The, the quality of customer care, the sisters are amazing. And so I'm not too familiar with the other ladies that work there. But the two sisters, Amy and I forgot the other lady. They're amazing people. I'm looking for my glue stick. I'll get it later. do that one later. No big deal. We have plenty to work with. I would love to get another pair of glasses. Really would. I do need to get my eyes checked for sure. Um, I'll go throw these into water later. So we got one. Two, three, four, five, six more to go if you guys want to stick around. I also want to tell you guys something. But I'm, let me finish this up. We're going to use yellow. Cadmium yellow. I should just use this yellow when I'm always looking for yellow because this is a nice bright yellow. Totally forgot about it. So it might mix. I don't know. Again, I don't know what yellow and blue might make green I think you guys can tell me a million times I'm not going to remember my brain refuses to capture that it says nope not remembering primary colors red white no primary colors uh, 
Uh, Kelly Donovan says Joby Red, something like that. Red, blue, yellow. I don't know. I don't care. I don't care for my primaries. It's, it's essential. It is essential for some of you guys as artists, but not to me. You see, because now I got this beautifulness there. And some of you guys are that do art. Roy G. Bibb, I think is what Kelly says. Roy G. Bibb. And I see my mind is just like, Bleh. I just refuse to learn. Mm. I don't get bothered when you guys tell me. I just think it's hilarious because I'm not going to remember. Honestly, I'm not going to remember. Red. Red, blue, yellow. Red, blue, yellow. Maybe black. What are your primary colors? Orange? I don't know. I don't care. <laughs> I say that now and then I get on this kick of learning. And then I'll probably learn. I almost did, like, few months ago the color wheel was teaching me and I was remembering and then now I don't even remember like it lasted for maybe a few weeks and then I was like oh, I no longer remember that's a really pretty green I love that green okay we're running out of stencils do I have any more over there nope okay I don't particularly like using um, excuse me the brick I'm not too into the brick shape excuse me Pretty color. That would make a pretty eyeshadow. Okay, we're gonna repeat. Huh. Let's grab from the button. That's just me burping. Not quite the hiccups, just burping. I had a big bowl of beans, homemade beans. Remember the homemade beans I told you guys? Or still have some left over. Let's grab another color. It's a lot of repetitive color that um, I picked up. That's just too black for the heck of it. The colors I got were very repetitive, so whatever artist donated them, they had the same colors. I'm sure it's because they mixed their own colors using primary colors, which is not something I'm going to do. Hmm. Oh yeah, that, that'll look pretty right there. I want it. Coming down like that. This is going to be major. It's black. It's a major, major. So it's black mixed with yellow. And blue and red. So 
so we're going to get some kind of army green looking, which I've been told army green is not an existing color. To me it is. My life. Let's see what's happening. Pretty cool. I'm just going to continue all the way through with army green. I even have a color called navel green and navy green, which are probably the same in my mind, in my world, the one life God gave me. I should be able to use words that make sense to me. There we go. Whatever color comes up. It's like some people say vomit green. We understand what they mean. So if I say navy green, I'm sure many of you guys understand what I mean. That's cool. And we're done. Okay, so what I wanted to tell you guys is what I'm going to do with my spares. These, we're going to make them into tiles and then we're going to glaze them and then we're going to make some kind of big art piece. We're going to put them on wood strips, make an art piece so that I can put on one of my walls. So we'll see how that turns out. That'll be a new video, but we have loads of them to work with They're right here. And I have some more. So, if you stuck through all this way, very grateful to you guys. Thank you, thank you so very much. And I'm very grateful that you guys allow me to be in your homes or wherever it is I'm at. Maybe I'm traveling with you guys on the bus or in the train on your headphones somewhere. Thanks so much. Let me know where you're from, where you're listening to me at. You're coming from your kitchen, bedroom. Mm, a subway station, what country, what realm are you from? Tell me a story. I would love to read stories. Um, so, thanks a lot. And we're all done. In the next video, you guys will see me now stamping, possibly doing some stamping on these cards. We got a lot. We did a lot. And we have a few more over here. I like to keep extras, make extras. I'm still working on the Fridas. Three Fridas. Still working on them. But the lady that purchased those, she's willing to wait. And they're already paid for. Alright, so if you guys um, didn't know yet, I sell postcards. They're $8. That includes shipping. Alright. On the... Just uh, email me, message me. Talk to you guys later, or you can join my Patreon. I'll see you guys later. Bye.